Hi everyone and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. If you'd like to see how I made these Dollar Tree Spring DIYs, then come along. All you're going to need for this first one is this cookie pan from the Dollar Tree or something similar. This placemat from the Dollar Tree, they had so many cute ones for spring. There's a ton to choose from, but I liked this one. These two little choppers and scrapers some white paint, it doesn't matter what kind, whatever you like to use the best, a hot glue gun, and some sort of really strong glue, like a Gorilla Glue or E6000. But first, before we start making the tray, I wanted to let you know that I am collaborating with Josie from Josie's Crafts. I have been a fan of her channel for quite a while now. She does some really awesome Dollar Tree DIYs, her style is mostly farmhouse, but she's got a bunch of different things in there and I, I guarantee you will love her channel. So after you're done watching my video, head on over to her channel. I will put her link in my description box. And don't forget to tell her I sent you. So on with the tray, you're just going to paint it white and I did the tops and the sides and a little bit underneath. And then you're going to take the placemat after you've measured the inside and cut it to size. I had to do this a couple times because it was a little bit too big each time. I just used an X-Acto, but you could easily use scissors. So after you've cut it down to size, See, it's a little bit too big. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out the best way to figure out the size and I finally just ended up kind of like shoving it in the, um, in the tray and kind of creasing the edges. And then lucky for me, these little scrapers have a rounded edge just like the tray. So it was easy to um, cut that out so that it fit perfectly. And then I'm going to distress the tray. You don't have to, you can just leave it bright white. It was really pretty that way, but I wanted to, it to have a little bit of distressing. So I just took some sandpaper and roughed up the edges. And then I'm taking these scrapers and giving these a couple coats just on that little curved part where you're going to see it when it's sticking out from the tray. You don't have to paint the whole thing. In fact, I wouldn't paint the flat part at all because you want the glue to stick on that and the tray. And then I just did a little distressing on these as well. And I personally would cover it in um, some Mod Podge. Just do like a layer on the tray and the handles because the paint will easily chip off if you don't. So then after that's dry, you're going to use some of your um, Gorilla Glue or E6000, whatever you choose to use. I wouldn't just go with um, hot glue because it will not hold. It'll just pop right off. So I just did a little bit of the Gorilla Glue and then hot glue to hold it on um, while the uh, Gorilla Glue dries. and then clean up any of the hot glue that is squishing out. And then for mine, I just put a couple heavy things on the top while it dried. You're probably going to want to let it dry overnight, but that's just me. So to put the placemat on, I'm using some of that Gorilla Glue. And I did put hot glue down all over in the middle and everything, but I ended up taking it off and removing the hot glue because it just, it kind of bubbled up wherever the hot glue was. So I took that off and then just did a little bit of hot glue in the corners. And here is where I was trying to tell you about um, adding Mod Podge. I would do a layer um, just so the paint's not going to scrape off. And you could probably go right over the placemat too. But 
here I'm just showing you I put some heavy things on the top. For the next one we're using these little storage containers, some succulents from the Dollar Tree, some paint of your choosing. I'm using um, a couple of Arteza blue paints and some white chalk paint. And then these I found at a thrift store. They were only 49 cents, so I thought I would give them a shot. I don't have any um, ink, so I thought I would try it out with some paint. And you could definitely leave these silver. I think they're really pretty. But I wanted to give them a little um, spring touch, so I'm painting on a couple layers of this blue. And then here is where I'm trying the white paint on one of those stamps. And it didn't work out very well the first time. This is probably why they use ink. <laughs> so I added a little bit more paint and went over it. It's, it's really not the best, but it, it kind of gives it like a farmhouse touch because <laughs> it's kind of rustic looking, I guess. And then I just painted the top as well, the same color. And then I just hot glued the tin onto the lid. The lid is going to be upside down just to give it a little bit of height. And you want to be careful because the tin actually gets hot on the bottom wherever the hot glue was. And I think it looks pretty cute. I will probably end up redoing that stamp. <laughs> But then you're just going to take some sand from the Dollar Tree and I forgot to show this when I was telling you what you needed for this project. Or you could use some of the rocks that they have that would look really pretty too. And then the succulent, I'm going to leave the clip on just so it gives it something to hold on to underneath the sand. And I think it looks super cute just like that and really springy and happy. For the next one, I'm using this really light blue. I can't even, I don't even know if you can tell that it's blue. But I'm going to do the same thing, just a couple coats of this, and I'm going to leave it plain. I'm not going to use the stamp on it. And then same here, just filling it with some of the sand and adding another succulent. And here they are both finished on the cute little farmhouse tray that we made. I really like how they look together. I think it's just super springy and happy. And everything here is from the Dollar Tree, so I think that's really cool as well. Let me know what you guys think of the tray and the little succulent tins. For this next one, you're just going to need a Dollar Tree frame. This is part of a project that I had done last year, so excuse the paint on there. You're also going to need some florals from the Dollar Tree, these little cardboard um, Happy Easter signs, and these little pots. And the spring sign from the Dollar Tree. I think it comes with the words bunny and welcome. And then for this, you're just going to want to remove that little... Um, metal clip in the back and then paint over it and you're going to want to paint the edges and the insides or inside <laughs> and then i'm using this scrapbook paper i think it was from michael's pretty sure or hobby lobby one of the two but you could use construction paper or paper that you paint on or whatever you could paint this glass if this glass wasn't already painted on I would have just stuck the scrapbook paper behind it, which is what I suggest um, so that you, your um, pot, I'll show you up in just a second, so that your pot has a little bit more to hold on to than just the paper. But because my glass wasn't clear, I just put the paper over it. And then you're going to take the little cardboard sign and hot glue it just like that. 
And this is what I mean. You probably want the paper behind the glass when you do this so that it has something to hang on to. And then you're going to take one of those little um, St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick Day little pots and hot glue it right on there and remove any of the squished out hot glue. And then I just hot glued the spring sign onto the top. And I know this isn't like typical spring colors, but I just love that brick look. I think it gives it a little bit of a rustic feel. And I decided to go with the greenery instead of the florals. Um, and you can get this at Walmart for less than a dollar. I think they're 97 cents and they're so full and pretty. And this is what it looks like all finished. I think it's super cute. And you could change out the florals whenever you wanted to, too. I didn't glue them in just for that reason. And if you did that paper behind the glass, you could change that out anytime and remove the spring word super easy if it was glued to the glass. For this next one, this is just really, really simple. I just fell in love with these white bowls. I'm using these lemons. They were from Hobby Lobby last year, but I've seen people use lemons from the Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them at mine yet. Um, and then any florals that you have. Those lavender pieces were from Walmart and these greenery pieces are ones that I already had, but the Dollar Tree has some really nice florals out right now, which I can't seem to get my hands on. Um, but if you can, that would look really pretty in this bowl. I know Kristen K has some of them and I'm just so jealous. I want some. They're those um, really pastel-y pink and purple ones. And then just start playing around with the placement. And like I said, this one's super easy. I just wanted to be able to use this bowl because I think it's so pretty. And this is what it looks like all finished. I hope you guys liked these projects. I had a great time making them. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Josie's channel. She is just a doll. I really like her and I think you will too. So head on over to her channel, show her some love, and tell her I sent you. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!